Our title is The Lost Year, Failed Diplomacy in Arkansas. We're, we're a senior division, Sophia Phillips and Sarah McCall. For a performance. <laughs> a Norfolk Academy. Yeah. Okay. Someone just help me get into the school. Two, four, six, eight. We don't want to integrate. Two, four, six, eight. We don't want to integrate. Why are you being so mean? I just want to go to school. <laughs> I don't want my children to have to go to school with you people. Go back to where you belong. I have to say this, but due to the situation, all Little Rock high schools will be closing for a year. The Supreme Court has decided to integrate no matter what, and uh, according to our Constitution, it's okay for us to close schools to protect our people, no matter what. Fathers, your last telegram did not uphold the Constitution. You sent National Guard not to the right of peace. I took an oath when I became president that I would uphold the Constitution and all the laws and the Supreme Court decisions. You failed to do that. Eisenhower, after our diplomatic discussion about the Little Rock crisis, I feel much better. I still debate, though, that the Supreme Court should at least look at why integration may be bad. But they decided to open schools anyways. I'm a veteran. and. I uphold the law very strongly. I just want people to be protected, and I'll do that no matter what. I also uphold the law and value it dearly, but what you did was not keeping everyone at peace. Me and 
fathers had a nice chat, and I think he really understood what I was saying about following the Constitution and being better. I suggested him to take the National Guard and give them new orders to be on the right side of the law. I said, it wasn't, I, I said, it's not a fair battle between the federal and the state law with the Supreme Court on my side. shut down schools for a whole year. It was called the last year. He did this to push back on integration, but also to keep himself in office. This popped up a bunch of new private schools. Some were only there for about a year, specifically for displaced white students. Some even had affiliations with fathers himself. But also, some like this one, Central Arkansas Christian and Pulaski Academy, both prestigious schools in the Pulaski County area. Both founded in 1971, the same year Little Rock School District public schools were fully integrated. It's kind of odd how all these private schools were popping up as soon as integration was actually being enforced. Almost like a white flight school. Yes, you see, even though it wasn't legally, even though there wasn't legal segregation, you still see the divide between public and private schools. Here at Central Arkansas Christian, there's only a 9% of African American students. That's about 75 out of 850 K through 12. Middle class and upper class parents choose to put their kids in a better education that they think would work. Yeah, it's, it's really odd how CAC has decided to still you know, be so segregated even though it's not legal. Is there a term for that? It could be de facto segregation. Like I said, it's not legally, um, illegal for them to be segregated, but if you look at how the divide, you can still see this in Little Rock today. Below the interstate I-630, you see a majority of minorities and African American students. Um, here at CAC, we have a 100% graduation rate every single year. Schools like Hall High School below the interstate only have a 50% graduation rate, and they have 93.2% uh, minorities population. Wow, that's crazy. I'm so thankful that I'm able to go to a school like CAC that has great opportunities, but not everyone's able to get that. Yes, it's almost like Fathers' plan to push off integration and fight it almost led to a private school movement that still see divide in today's school. Well, thank you for showing me around CAC and being even interested in private schools. Yeah, of course. Schools shouldn't be ashamed of their history but they should be proud of the movements that they're making to, be, to make it better. 